Hey gang, it's me, Dr. Steve, and we got woke leftists once again suffering yet another meltdown, this time over a video mocking and ridiculing them. And let's just say that you Parks and Rec Ron Swanson fans out there are going to be very, very proud. This is the actress and comedian Aubrey Plaza. She's perhaps best known for her role in the hit comedy sitcom Parks and Rec, featuring, of course, the venerable libertarian par excellence, Ron Swanson. Now, Aubrey has found herself at the center of a social media storm after starring in an absolutely hilarious advertisement for milk that ended up freaking out woke leftists. So I'm going to play the ad for you. I mean, it's hilarious. It's called Wood Milk. And then we're going to take a look at some of the crazy reactions it triggered from unhinged leftists. Roll the tape. Hi, I'm Aubrey Plaza. You know me as an actress, but I'm also the co-founder of Wood Milk, the world's first and only milk made from wood. Wood Milk started with a simple idea. I saw a tree and I asked myself, can I drink this? As it turns out, the answer is yes, if you make it into milk. Here at Wood Milk Orchards, we grow our trees the old fashioned way, right out of the ground. And we're certain our eco-friendly, artisanal, free-range wood milk will be the only milk you'll want to drink for the rest of your life. Why? Because you're thirsty. And because you want it. Because you want that wood as your milk. Our wood milk is bottled right here in the forest, which locks in the flavors like oak, cherry, maple, and of course, mahogany. And if you can't pick your favorite, that's okay, because they all taste like wood. Now let's take a look at how wood milk is born. Not born, exactly. More like squished into a slime that's legal to sell. If a tree falls in the forest, can you make milk out of it? Now it's time to enjoy the fruits of our efforts. Not fruits, wood. Got wood? Is wood milk real? <laughs> Absolutely not. Only real milk is real. Then what did I invest in? All right, so as you can see there, I mean, Aubrey is uh, portraying herself as the co-founder of a fictional milk made not from soy or from almonds or any other plant life, but rather from trees. <laughs> I love the line. Have you ever looked at a tree and thought, can I drink this? <laughs> so she talked about all the different kinds of wood milk you could drink from all the various types of trees, cedar and all that. And of course, it doesn't matter which one you pick. It all tastes like wood. And so why not just go with the real thing, the real milk? Again, it was cute. It was playful. But not if you're woke. That, what you just saw there, that was considered absolutely offensive to the soy milk drinking community, which, by the way, I've got no qualms with. I'm Eastern Orthodox, and we fast from dairy. We eat a vegan diet like 100 days out of the year, so I drink plenty of soy milk and almond milk and the like. So just to be clear, I got no issues with non-dairy milk products. But the commercial is hilarious. One of the most prominent symptoms of the woke mind virus is a sense of humor deficiency. <laughs> Wait until you see some of these comments on her Instagram. They're insane. But first, gang, you've got to click on that link below and try for yourself the new technology behind My Pillow 2.0. It's absolutely amazing. Mike Lindell's absolutely outdone himself with the new fabric temperature regulating technology that keeps you comfortable all throughout the night. You're going to absolutely love it, and you're going to get the same amazing savings as always if you use code TURLY. A classic my pillow is normally $69.98, but if you use promo code TURLY, you're going to get the same classic my pillow for just $19.98, and that applies to over 200 products in their catalog, so don't wait. Click on that link below. Give the gift of comfort and warmth to yourself, to your loved ones. Support one of America's most amazing patriots and get the best savings ever with promo code Turley. Click on that link below right now. One triggered leftist wrote, quote, disappointed to see you use your platform to discourage people from making healthier and kinder choices. 
Hope this is a learning opportunity for you. <laughs> Another one wrote, so, so, so disappointed. Please educate yourself. Here's another. Perhaps next you could do a snarky ad mocking the people who try to stop dog fighting or clips of you laughing over other videos showing baby seals getting beaten to death for their fur. <laughs> oh, wow. Yikes. Here's another. Stop mocking vegans. We are right about ethics and the environment. <laughs> okay. Here's another. What's next, Aubrey? Will you be promoting foie gras and veal and human slavery, perhaps heroin next? You need ethics. Aubrey is for sale, apparently. Even the ultra-leftist propaganda site Vox, that's Vox with a V, not Fox, but even they piled on, writing a lengthy piece complaining about Plaza mocking plant-based milks as if they weren't real milk. And ironically, all of this furor, all of this tree furor, just ended up earning itself even more mockery. A Twitter account, Heel vs. Babyface, put this meme up. These are vegans watching an Aubrey Plaza milk commercial. I mean, if you're listening by podcast, it's a picture of Obama and his staff staring at the live stream of when the special forces went in to take out Osama bin Laden, and they're absolutely captivated. It's hilarious. Unfortunately, Plaza, as I understand it, uh, had to disable the comments in her Instagram. But to her credit, she has refused to back down to the woke mob. I don't think people are intimidated by woke zombies anymore. Not after the Bud Light fiasco. That's what it looks like to me, at least. But all of this raises the question, why are the woke so hopelessly devoid of any sense of humor? Here's the amazing British comedian John Cleese on the woke sense of humor deficiency. If people can't control their own emotions, then they have to start trying to control other people's behavior. And when you're around super sensitive people, you cannot relax and be spontaneous because you have no idea what's going to upset them next. And that's why I've been warned recently, don't go to most university campuses because the political correctness has been taken from being a good idea, which is let's not be mean, particularly to people who are not able to look after themselves very well. That's a good idea to the point where any kind of criticism of any individual or group can be labeled um, cruel. And the whole point about humor, the whole point about comedy, and believe you me, I've thought about this, is that all comedy is critical. Even if you make a very inclusive joke like um, how do you make God laugh? Answer, tell him your plans. Now, that's about the human condition. It's not excluding anyone. It's saying we all have all these plans which probably won't come, and isn't it funny how we still believe they're going to happen? So that's a very inclusive joke. It's still critical. All humor is critical. And if you start saying, oh, we mustn't, we mustn't criticize or offend them, then humor's gone. With humor goes a sense of proportion. And then as far as I'm concerned, you're living in 1984. That's just so well put. Of course, the main thing is to be kind, be kind to everyone. But what the woke do is they exploit our kindness by forcing us into a kind of indulgence of the most overly sensitive people in our culture, the people who are most easily upset. And there's absolutely no rational reason for why we should organize a society around the sensibilities of the most easily upset people, because then you have a very neurotic society. And from the point of view of creativity, if you have to keep thinking which words you can use and which you can't, then that will stifle creativity and will lose any real sense of cultural flourishing. Again, I think that's just brilliantly put. And the good news is that while the woke left has a very hard time laughing, more and more people are indeed laughing at them. They are the true butt of all jokes. Their utterly neurotic triggering is itself the object of ridicule. And I, for one, am very glad that Aubrey Plaza and many other comedians just like her are smiling rather than backing down. As always, make sure to smile Smack that bell and subscribe button. You'll definitely want to check out my latest video on Jordan Peterson torching a woke leftist on trans issues. You're not going to want to miss it. So make sure to click on that link and I'll see you over there. God bless.
Hey gang, if you want to connect with more courageous patriots and start taking action and organizing, be sure to join my Telegram group. I post the latest breaking news I find interesting and chat with my favorite patriots around the country and even the world. Click the link in the description below and join the conversation today.